I did a little bit of spice, like. <coughs> Holy shoot. I don't know what happened there. <coughs> What's shack a whacking everybody? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but look what I got. We got a red prima tolly. The world's hottest pepper. And check out the phenotype on this pepper, guys. It's kind of smashed all up inside the walls of the pepper. So you know there's more there than what meets the eye. But you can see the tail hooking out from the bottom. So it absolutely looks amazing. I am a little nervous. This is the first time I've had the red prima tolly. Period. Ever. <laughs> Okay, everybody so the red prima tolly and just for anybody that does watch us that really doesn't understand where the heat comes from mainly like family or friends so the heat comes from the placenta this may be a better half to show you the placenta right in the middle here kind of secretes oils all throughout the pepper and that's where you're gonna get your heat from some people think it's the seeds some people think it's the pepper hell I'm sure even some think it's the stem <laughs> so. But, in all logic, the real true heat comes from the placenta, which secretes oil all inside the pepper, and that oil is what's going to light you up. So I don't know if you can kind of see the oils lining the inside wall of the pepper there. Hopefully that will focus for you guys. You can kind of see it's a little shiny. Kind of holding it by the tail here. Hold it by the tail, bye. So there you go, right? Hopefully it's uh, focusing, you guys can see that. All right, so I just wanted to kind of break that down for anybody that does watch us that doesn't understand about the heat and where it comes from within the pepper. Like even me, myself, I didn't know right away at first. I actually did think it was from the seeds because I've heard so many people say that online, but the true heat is in the placenta, guys, which secretes the oil through the pepper. Let's not waste any more time. Let's eat this and see how, let's, we're gonna look for flavor, flavor. We're gonna look for the heat rating. And I'm gonna be honest too, guys. My tolerance is way down. I haven't eaten anything spicy. I, I'm kinda just getting over the flu again. I had it back to back the flu here. It's kinda been a rough month in September for us. Well, for me, <laughs> so I've lost my voice twice. And I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm on the mend now though, bye. We're doing good. I had a, I had a good week last week where we were able to shoot them two videos and then I got sick again right after that. So I don't know what's going on. Anyways, without further delay, guys, let's go. This is probably going to light me up and I'm nervous. Prima Tali, red Prima Tali, my first time. Let's go, bye. back of my throat's raw guys so uh, so it's hot for me real hot wow uh, uh, what a good tolerance booster though uh, so that was kind of, had an initial bit of fruity flavor right off the bat, maybe sweetie, sweet fruity fruitiness there to it. But then the heat kicked in and it got floral too. Got, I got a lot of floralness and it's hot and the heat's climbing quick. But yeah, kind of fruity, fruity right off the bat, little touch and then bam, and the, the heat hits you. Okay, and for the heat for me, I'd say it's roof of the mouth, real bad at the back of the roof of the mouth, uh, kind of back of the throat too, back of the throat, it seems like it's migrating and yeah, it's kind of like 
heading back to the back of the throat. <laughs> so, but maybe that'll do my back of my throat some good, god dang it. Uh, yeah, back of the throat, roof of the mouth, back of the tongue a little bit. I think my heat for this is probably, I'd say about four or five. Maybe Bryson. It's hot, like, like I said, I haven't done nothing hot, guys, in a while. Probably a week. We did them videos and I just, my throat was so raw. I just shut her down. I had, like, I did a little bit of spice, like. <coughs> Holy shoot. I don't know what happened there. <coughs> Eats probably five, five or six. But uh, I, did, I did a little bit of spice there. Uh, I've been doing hot sauce and hot sauce, hot sauce, and uh, I had a couple of habaneros, but it's been hard to keep it up. It's hard to keep the tolerance up. And uh, I don't want to let it drop too much. It seems like it's dropped so much. It doesn't take long, right? A couple of days. You go without a day or two without eating spicy and it'll drop quick on you so even trying to do the hot sauce and different things it's it's helped a little bit, bit but it's not where it was not where it was uh so my plan is to get over this sickness and to rebuild the tolerance guys god dang so yeah we'll rebuild I'm sweating. I think my heat's kind of leveled off a bit for me. Nose is running. What a good burn though. Good burn on the Red Primatale. It seemed like that heat was just pulsating on my tongue and on the back of my throat. Just woof, woof, woof. Great burn. Great pepper. Yeah, so nose running. It kind of engulfed the whole back of my throat, back of my tongue, back of my roof of my mouth. Sweating. So yeah, we'll rebuild everything, guys. We'll rebuild from scratch here. And I'm excited to get going again. I, I've been chomping at the bit. I wanted to film, so we had so much nice days, nice weather here. And I couldn't film anything. I was dying. So I think I'm on the mend again. I think I'm doing better. And uh, I don't know, I don't even know if it was the flu. I think I might have had a bacterial thing. I took many COVID tests, nothing. So I don't know what, what was going on. Olivia's, Olivia's same thing, she's been sick a lot. So I don't know what we caught or what we got, but yeah, it was even before Ottawa, or then after Ottawa. I had like a little stretch where we did good there and then bam, it hit me again, I got sick again. So I don't know, I don't know. Don't know what happened, but we're on the road to recovery, I, I think, I hope, and the road to rebuilding the tolerance. So come along for the ride with me, guys, as we build from ground zero again. <laughs> so that was the first of it. I read Primatali. Thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for me, bye. I'm a sweaty mess over here. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, baby. <laughs>